What's going on? So, draft is pretty much here, man. And I want to let y'all know, man, who, what the Kings need to do. Whether it be, they may it may fall into their lap, or they need to trade up. The Kings need to do this. There's only two players in this top four that I really truly desire and that truly will make a difference and truly give the Kings what they need is somebody who get buckets. I know a lot of y'all like Ivy. He's a good player, but it just won't work. We have Fox, so y'all can count that out. Number one, Jabari, Jabari Smith. Not only does he give us a lean score that the Kings need, but he has the potential to sit over there and drop you 30 to 40 on any given night. I, I think coming in, and especially in this system, coming in, this man will at, at least be an 18 to 20 point score. When you got a man that can sit over there and shoot the ball the way that he can shoot the ball, the man can purely put the ball in the bucket. Shooting the ball, putting the ball in the bucket is pretty easy for him. He's smooth with it. He may not be a twitchy and Jay and Ivy type of dude, but the man is smooth with it. What is he, about 6'10"? With a long wingspan? That don't mean he done growing now. What is he, 18, 19 years old? He's not done growing. So what if this man ends up being seven foot? Come on. Seven foot that can put the ball. That's You damn near got you a similar situation like Durant. I'm not saying he's going to be Durant. <laughs> but you might got you into a similar situation like Durant. I'm pretty sure this man will at least throw on another inch. I don't think that man is done growing. Not only is he going to feel out better physically than Durant, because he has the frame for it, and he will do that. He's going to be damn near Jesus tall. And a man that can shoot the ball like that, and that and, and, and that only can, and, and can shoot the ball around the mid-range too, though, it's just so smooth with him. And he and he fits a position of need. That's number one. That's that's number one. That that's that's the number one pick that the Kings should go after. I've been saying this before. I've been saying this since the college season has ended and before and during the tournament. Jabari. Number two. Number two. I'm I'm going to probably say his name wrong. Paulo. Paulo, look, that man also can give you 40 on any given night. The man is 6'10", what, 240? So not only does he have an NBA body right now, he can sit over there and handle. He'll post you up. He can shoot the ball. He can get better, though. He can get better with that. You shoot the ball. he take you off the dribble. You can say what you want, but having two, he's not like Sabonis. He's different than Sabonis. <laughs> That's a totally different player from Sabonis. This man can sit over there and post you, face you, shoot it, take the ball court, lead the break, rebound, And he gonna be under Mike Brown, so he'll play. So he gonna play some defense. He got no choice. The man can do it all in a grown man body. 
How is that not high on your priority list? I'm taking him over Shet any day. Look, I don't want Shet Holmgren. Them the only two that's worth it for me in the top four. The only reason why I didn't say Javon Ivy is because of what I said earlier. It's because it just kind of just doesn't make sense for us right now. Just because we have Fox. Unless you want to move Fox, then I'm going to add him in. But I don't think, I mean, you, it can work. If, you know what I'm saying? If he'll sit over there and play that six-man role. The only way, but to be honest with you, if you're going to trade down, there's one dude that'll play the six-man role that y'all sleep on. And that's Mr. Johnny Davis. Johnny Davis. Johnny Davis, but did Johnny Davis bust his ass though? Didn't they play? <laughs> Didn't they play? Johnny Davis reminds me he got that Devin Booker like type game. He ain't the most athletic though, but the man can score. You don't need athleticism. You don't need athleticism to get buckets. You just need to be able to get buckets. <laughs> That could be your sixth man. Johnny Davis can be your sixth man. He probably start the way the, the way the league going. He probably start. Come on, come on. Let's be real. Let's talk. Let's talk. I don't want shit. This is why I don't want shit. Not only do I got to wait a couple years for this man to fill out, I probably got to at least wait at a minimum three years for this man to fill out. The man is a two-pick. I'm ready to make the playoffs now. And if we get shed, we probably got to wait another year or two. Yeah, it ain't like back in the day where he would get demolished with that frame. So, you know, with this NBA, with people being soft and, you know, this is a foul. He'll be able to have more success. But he still is a two pick. He's a two. He's he, he it's nothing. <clears throat> he's a good player. Lottery pick player. Yes. To me, it's just nothing special about him offensively. Yeah, he can shoot the ball. Got a little touch around the rim. He can do something of everything, but it's nothing special about him offensively. When you talk about him being special, when you go on defense, when you talk about anything special with him, would be on his defensive end, right? I don't. He's not a. He's not a. He's not a consistent twenty to twenty-five point scorer to me. It ain't nothing special about him offensively. The Kings need somebody special offensively that's gonna get buckets. That's going to put the ball in, that's when we can't get nothing going. When I put the ball in your hand, you're going to score. And them two that I named will do just that for you. Now in the future, both of them are ready to play now. And if you can't get them two, you trade down. You let somebody else. You uh, uh, unless you, you got to trade down, no. But if for some reason you had to, you pick one of them and hold them hostage till somebody gives you something that that's worth having. If you got to sit over there and pick them to hold them hostage to get something in return, you do that. You don't let them. You don't. You don't. This is. This is an opportunity of a lifetime to really change your team. You have to do it. There is no, there's really no messing up in this draft right now. You can't mess up. <laughs> you in a top four. It's impossible for you to mess up. Unless you do something stupid. Unless you trade down for something that ain't worth it. At least three out of four of them players will change a franchise. And most likely, Shet is going to be top three. Somebody going to get that man in the top three. And I'm not even talking about Sharp either. You know, even though Sharp is an unknown, 
I think Sharp gonna get buckets. But them the only two I want. So either you trade up or you get them at four. Them the only two I want in that top four. Them the only two I want. It's about time that we sit over there. Look, we got Sabonis, right? All-star player. We got Fox. But, man, to get another score with this, oh, my God. You already got your guards, right? If you can get a score and some length, oh, my God. How can we not make the playoffs? With a defensive-minded coach, how can we not make the playoffs? If we don't make the playoffs and you get one of them two and you add some more length with Mike Brown and we don't make the playoffs, we're cursed. <laughs> we're cursed. It is, there's just no way, no matter what we do, it just won't happen. Yeah, man, I said what I had to say, man. Hey, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We out.